Hello. My name is Noura, accounting and tax professional and the founder of Noura's Books. Today I'm here to answer a very important question I have been getting the last few days from a lot of people. Should my nonprofit file 990? Well, if you are not aware of that, nonprofit's tax return is due on May 16 for this year just because May 15 comes in on Sunday, so your tax return for the organization for your nonprofit organization if it is on a calendar year, it is due um, on May 16. So if you haven't filed yet, make sure you file by that time. If you are not ready, make sure you file an extension so you don't have to pay penalty. Now, getting back to the question, should the nonprofit file 990? Well, it depends. It depends if you have if you have less than, uh, if you have $50,000 in gross receipt or less, then no, you don't have to. So you don't have to file it, you can just file the end card, although I do not really recommend it if you're looking to grow your organization. You can do it, but unless like there's some, uh, there's some uh, reasons that why you cannot do the 990 end card, one of them, if you have a private foundation, if your organization is a private foundation, then no, you have to file the 990 PF. But and this is one of the reasons, and there's like other reasons. Um, if you have question about that, you can uh, message me or book a call uh, or just message me on Instagram. I'll be happy to talk to you and answer your question. However, um, like I said, I don't recommend doing the 990 uh, end card because it doesn't provide a lot of information. This is if you are looking to grow your organization. If you don't care about growing your organization, if you're just doing this and um, you know you want to stay a uh, small organization, some people they I speak to some people they should, they really want to have just intimate relationship between them and. Um, you know, uh, uh, beneficiaries and they don't want to grow. They want to keep it small so they can have this personal connection and um, they want to do everything by themselves. So they can, they do not want to grow. So that which is fine. But if you're looking to grow, if you're looking to get funding soon, make sure you file 990. At bare minimum, file the easy. But I do recommend the long one usually because this will give you uh, more opportunity to grow, you grow faster, but when you complete either 990 EZ or the 990, make sure you have complete information because if you do not have complete information, the IRS will return that to you and guess what? They will consider you filing late because you didn't file, because you filed missing information. There's missing information. so that marked uh, as you haven't filed. So make sure if you decided to file the easy or the long form 990 to file complete information because you don't want to be late. If you are late, there is a penalty and that's a daily penalty. This is $20 per day for being late on filing your organization return. Now, if you have any question about your organization, if uh, what is required for your, organ your organization is a uh, do you have to file the end card do you have to file the EZ or do you have to file the and uh, the long one you can uh, message me and I'll be happy to talk to you about it otherwise if you uh, know the information just make sure you file a correct return don't have a volunteer, a volunteer do it or someone who doesn't know about it to do it. I've seen a lot of incomplete tax return uh, for organizations just because they don't want to spend money. Well, guys, you need to spend money on these because this is an investment for your organization. This is, will help you. Um, this will help you stay in compliance. If you have a board member or someone who volunteer with you who knows what they're doing and they do care about what their their work, then uh, make sure you know that that's fine but if you don't make sure you have a professional do that for you um, because it's not a joke like nonprofit organization required to be more to do more work to stay in compliance 
um, with the IRS and to keep your status, to keep doing the good you are doing in the world. So make sure you um, file the correct form and a complete form. If you have any question about that, let me know. I'll be happy to answer your question. And again, we'll see you later for in a later video. If you want me to talk about something in specific, make sure um, you comment here um, under this video or uh, DM me. I'll be happy to talk about other topics. Um, uh, explain if I have a lot of questions, then I might come uh, online and answer uh, several questions at one time. So let me know. I'll be happy to talk to you later. Thank you. Have a great day. Oops, that's not ending. Okay.